This video has been made possible by BenQ. If you're a digital artist in need of a professional grade monitor, then check out BenQ.com. Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be modeling textures. Um, I don't know if textures is the right word, but if you have a certain type of uh, look or feel that you want for, let's say, a sci-fi model or a character or whatnot, sometimes it is so distinct and it is so detailed that you want to model it instead of just applying uh, you know, a normal map or something, right? So uh, I'll give you a couple of examples. It's actually a super simple technique, uh, but nevertheless, it's something I use. I want to share it with you guys and it's fun, yeah? So I'm gonna take a polygon cylinder. We're just gonna go in here. We're gonna give it some height subdivision and I want them to be about square, I would say, okay? Now, in this case, I don't want any interior here. So we're gonna drag like that and delete it. So that's one example we have. And just to make it look a little bit cooler, we'll go into this edge right here. We're gonna hit R to scale, we're going to hit down B for soft select, and we're going to kind of do something like this. Then our next object will be a polygon plane, and we'll just hit W and move it over here, scale it up a bit, make sure they're all square, and they are, which is kind of neat, yep. And then to make this a little bit more interesting, we're just going to take this edge in the middle right there, Again, hit B for soft select. We're gonna hit E to rotate this guy a little bit. Do something like that, there you go. And then let's see, one more. Uh, what we'll do is we'll take a sphere and we'll move that over, over here. We'll just cut it in half. I only want the top there. So we're gonna go to face. Let's see if these are square enough. Yeah, not too bad. We'll, we'll just get rid of this, turn off B for soft select, and there you go. All right, so like I said, a technique is super simple, but you can uh, make some very cool effects with it, right? So let's start here. We're gonna right click, we're gonna go to face, we're gonna drag select all of them. We're gonna hit Control E to extrude, keep face together, let's turn that off, right? Then we're gonna tweak the offset. We're gonna go inwards. So let's do 0 0.1, 0 0.03 maybe. That's a bit better. Yeah, 0 0.03 is fine. Then we're gonna drag the thickness inward. Let's do minus 0 0.03. That'll be about right. And then we're gonna right click the object mode and we're gonna hit three to preview smooth. Okay, so it gets something like this. It looks almost like a peanut, right? Kind of cool. Okay, let's do something similar here, but instead of pulling it inward, we're going to push it outward. So we're going to go in, we're going to take these faces, right click, go to, uh, actually not right click, we're going to go to extrude, keep face together, off, we're going to tweak the offset. Let's do 0.1. I think uh, let's do 0 0.05, that's better. 0 0.05, then we'll tweak the thickness and we'll go up in this case, 0 0.05, that looks fine. Right click go to object mode, three to preview smooth. And you don't have to preview smooth it or smooth it. You can do this as well if you like that better, right? I think that looks cool as well. But if you decide to, and let's do both. Let's just hit control D to duplicate. So you can see them both, right? And then this guy right here, we're gonna hit three to preview smooth. So you get something like this, like a rubber mat, if you will. And this is more, well, you know, it is what it is. Okay. Um, let's see, what we'll do here is um, a very different shape. Let's see how that turns out. Here you see that the faces uh, change shape uh, quite a bit. They go from rectangular to almost square to kind of pinched in the top there. So you're gonna get a very different effect, right? Again, drag select, control E to extrude, keep face together, turn that off. The offset, let's do 0.05, uh, that's fine. Then the thickness will do, um, I don't know, 0 0.2, 0 0.05, that's better, okay. 
Now, if we go in here and we hit three to preview smooth, you'll get something like this. And here you see that these kind of bumps are stretched here. They're kind of pointy at top. So this could maybe be the side of the rim on a wheel, right? This could be plated armor or something on a character or something on um, clothing, maybe even on a vehicle, right? And then this here, you know, all sorts of things you can use it for. You can use it for, uh, I don't know, shin guards. You can use it for wall decoration, furniture, anything and everything, yeah? So just a couple of super, super simple methods to create the texture manually. And uh, yeah, I use it a lot. I think it's fun. So I hope you do too, okay? That's the tip for today. Uh, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it and uh, if you got any requests. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.